everyone, welcome to the Cook Nook. I'm Angel Girl and today we have a special dish today. Um, we're gonna be making a spaghetti squash with uh, meat sauce. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started. I'll go ahead and insert the images here of uh, what exactly I did. I did wash the squash, the spaghetti squash before I started, but uh, we cut it in half. Um, I put uh, a little bit, I, I took out all the innings. Then I put some butter inside of it for uh, like a little bit. And then I also, I didn't film it, but I did put like a tiny bit of olive oil in it uh, so that, you know, for, for flavoring, so it could get soft and cooked and everything. And then I put a little bit of the uh, Italian seasonings with some garlic salt. Um, and then uh, we go we went ahead and put it in the oven at 390 uh, 390 395 I think and we're and we put it in there for about uh, I want to say 20 minutes okay so um, let's get started now with the uh, meat sauce and we're gonna do turkey and this one is 93 uh, uh, 93 lean 7% uh, fat so you're still gonna get you know a lot of the the meaty and a little tiny bit of the fat okay and then uh, this is olive oil I put one tablespoon of olive oil Okay, and I've had my little uh, thing going for a little while already. Uh, it's been warming up, so yeah, the uh, the oil right now it is ready to go uh, for sure. And then I'll go ahead and add the turkey in there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move it a little bit out of the heat so it doesn't uh, like spark out and like, you know, hurt us. So, probably lower down the, lower down the temperature. Okay. All right, so we're back. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, smash it a little bit and then we'll add some seasonings in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna put some seasonal and, and this one is one teaspoon of seasonal. Okay, just making sure that everything gets covered and this one was a little bit wet before like the little cup was a little bit wet beforehand but it's fine and then just let that cook a little bit And as soon as it gets a little bit more cooked, we'll add the other seasonings. Okay. And right now, the um, we have it at the at medium, uh, the um, level of the hot plate. We have it at a medium, so it's not it's not too hot, like terribly hot. It's like at the perfect temperature. We don't want to overcook it and we don't want it to not cook at all, like snail speed. So we'll be right back. And as soon as um, we're ready to add the rest of the seasonings, we'll come back to you guys. 
So we're back and uh, now we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the seasonings. It's already pretty cooked as you guys can see. Uh, it still has a little bit of like um, some uncooked parts but it's a it's a good place to to add some seasoning. So we're going to go ahead and add one uh, teaspoon of the uh, garlic salt and this is also for flavoring. Okay, and then this one is the uh, Italian seasonings, and this is for aromatics as well as uh, flavoring. So, and since we're gonna do like a little, a little inspired uh, Italian type dish, well, you can never go wrong with that, right? So, we're gonna go ahead and add that, and then just kind of uh, swirl it around and make sure that it gets cooked evenly and I think this is also a good place to uh, use our nifty tool um, I love using this I, I've mentioned this before uh, in previous um, videos but uh, actually I really I recently started using it um, to make um, chicken, like the cooked chicken. I What I do is I basically boil the chicken and then cut it up in little um, yeah, strips. I cut it up in strips and then um, I start mushing them. And it actually is a really, really good tool to use for when you want uh, to make um, some um, chicken, like the, like ch shredded chicken. Yeah. So it's really good. I, I hadn't used it for that, but then I was like, well, let me just try, see how it goes. But it's really good for to make shredded chicken too as well. And it's it's pretty quick to use it as well. So and then so yeah, this is a very, very, very useful tool that I like to use. So as uh it, it's actually getting cooked while we're smashing it, like kind of shredding it with this. So that's that's a good thing. And then right now uh, we're gonna go ahead and use some homemade marinara sauce. If uh, you haven't seen my video for the homemade marinara sauce, uh, I'll go ahead and link it here. Um, and uh, we also have, if you want, we have marinara sauce, marinara sauce for picky eaters. I'll go ahead and put that in the description if you wanna check it out. Um, we love using that. Both of those recipes are really good. Uh, we've used it for, you know, with our son and he loves it. He loves uh, the the marinara sauce for picky eaters. That one has a little bit of a sweet uh, taste. So um, they, they think that they're eating marinara sauce, you know, but in reality, they're eating a lot of, you know, healthy vegetables in there and it's a little bit sweet and it has a lot of, you know, different flavors and, you know, something that they're not exactly expecting, but I'm sure they'll like it. Cause like I said, it's a little sweet, but it's very, very good. Really good. I love it. Um, but yeah, if, if you're just, you know, cooking something up, you know, uh, the um, homemade marinara sauce that I make is also a really good, you know, tomato and it gets a little saucy. Uh, it's, uh, it's also very, it's thickened. Uh, so it's, it's, it's almost, it's almost like the store-bought, but better. Uh, cause it doesn't, it also doesn't also have a lot of fat in it. So yeah, that one, that's also a really good, uh, uh, thing. It's a little bit healthier. Uh, you can choose to add, uh, some cheese in it. Uh, that way you could get a little bit more color and kind of stir away from the tomato, um, tomato taste. Yeah. So, 
I love I love to do that. I love uh, just kind of mixing it up and just uh, getting getting away from the tomato taste, the tomato flavor, uh, and it it also um, doesn't make it very uh, ac acidic. So it's it's just a really good really good flavors. So all right, I think we are good now. And uh, we'll go ahead and add the, like I said, homemade tomato sauce. Like I said, I love this. And if you try it out, I'm sure you'll love it too. So go ahead and add that. And then whatever is left, we'll, we can go ahead and use it for the uh, spaghetti squash. And so just kind of stir it in make sure that you know all of the turkey is getting you know uh, pretty much like all the flavors from the uh, marinara sauce and it's 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 very well integrated and you know very combined it's really really good I think that is awesome as you guys can see it is so good and for this dish we are not adding any vegetables because most of your vegetables are going to come from the uh, spaghetti squash so this one is more of a very simple very easy uh, type of uh, dish and it, it's, a, it's a bit on the quicker side in a way uh, because yes, even though you have to you know wait for the squash to get cooked and it's a little bit difficult to cut it, um, after you, you know season it and put it in the oven for about 20 minutes, it all comes together and it's amazing. It is so good. And uh, we'll go ahead and get back to you guys right now in a few minutes once the squash is out of the oven and uh, we'll put it all together in the plating process. All right, so the squash is ready right now um, and all you gotta do is just basically kinda scrape up some of the uh, spaghetti squash very carefully because it is very, very hot. So, just kinda and then the very top layer of it has a lot of flavoring because of the seasonings, um, the butter, and it's just so good. Okay. And right now, like most of it is very, very soft and very flaky. I'll show you guys right now in a little bit, uh, but just kind of just Pull uh, some of it out and just put it in the plate. It's just so good. It's very soft. Like I said, it's very, very flaky. And you get a lot of it out. There is like enough for maybe, uh, I, 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 grab like a little small one but I'm pretty sure there is enough for the three of us plus you know some you know seconds so good and you don't really need uh, a lot of seasoning like I said all I did um, and added to it was just the a um, little bit of butter uh, just kind of like a little drop, probably like a teaspoon of the olive oil so they can make sure that it gets cooked. And then I added some garlic salt and um, Italian seasonings. And that was it. That was all. That's all it needed. And yet you get, um, I also, um, while I was cooking, I went back 
and uh because you do get a little like a little puddle of like the seasoning like the butter and olive oil, and olive oil on it so all you do is just kind of grab one of those um the uh the little cooking brushes and then just kind of brush back brush in the uh, seasoning into the squash so that it could get it could it could uh, maintain like it's uh, continue uh, also like maintain it moist and maintain it soft and you know getting um, ready you know continue to, for it to get cooking continue cooking so and it's it does take a little while to kind of like scrape up you know a little bit of it but the after effect is just so, so good. Okay. <clears throat> just kind of, kind of like, just continue to kind of scrape up the sides and make sure that you get enough of the flavors, enough of like the, the squash itself because it is very 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 flaky very um it's, it, it literally just looks like the noodles itself and so you don't really need anything else other than you know just flavors just for it to have very good seasonings and everything and then once you get enough um i'll go ahead and add the meat sauce here there you go and then just a little bit of the marinara sauce on top and that is it as you guys can see it is so so good so delicious and at this point you can add a little bit of the parmesan cheese and chili flakes and you're it that's it you're ready to go and i'll show you guys how, what it what it looks like and it's so good all right so as you guys can see there's the spaghetti squash this one is the 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 one i haven't cut into yet uh so it's, all you can see right now is just like a little bit of, of, of a puddle there um and that's just basically the the olive oil and the butter all uh, put together and then it's all the seasoning the italian seasoning all around it um so it's really really good super good and then over here on this side we have the spaghetti squash already served and ready to go and then we have the um the marinara sauce with the turkey that is also so delicious well thank you guys for joining us uh, today i hope you guys enjoy the spaghetti squash and like and subscribe so see you guys next time bye